Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, so that we are back with another video. And as you can see from the title, it is the yearly, or actually twice a year, Antwerp pickups video. Now, to those of you that aren't aware, every year, twice a year, there is a sample sale in Antwerp, which has designers like Heider Ackerman and Demi Lamista, Dries Van Notten and Raf Simmons. I usually go there, meet some of my friends, make a day trip out of it, and I get to shop a lot, which is always a big thumbs up for me and for you and for just everybody mate uh so today we have the pickups and man i am gassed some of the pieces are just so fire and like usual as well some of these pieces are unfortunately they're going to be a tiny bit too small or a tiny bit too big the majority of the cases in this video the pieces are actually too big so if you wish to cop them from me make sure to check the description box where i'll be leaving the items that are up for sale if it's there it means it's available if it's not there it's not available so don't message me regarding it just drop me a message on ig first come first served i'll leave it up for like 24 48 hours before moving everything to grail I think that is it. With that being said, let's just hop straight into item numero uno. And it's this amazing, oof, it's absolutely incredible women's shirts from Heider Ackerman. This is a size 34. Now, to my surprise, this fits very oversized. Like, I'm normally a medium to a large. Like, I can float between a medium to a large, depending on how I like my shirts to fit. It's long in the body. The material is absolutely amazing. Super lightweight. It's actually 100% polyester, which... It's surprising because I definitely thought it's a 100% silk, but no, 100% poly. The color is this sort of dusty pink. I hope that the B-roll will truly be able to highlight it. We've got this mandarin color detailing, but obviously your boy never ever does this button all the way done up anyway. Drop shoulders, super elegant shirt that in my opinion, is very much unisex. It's got a hidden placket detailing as well, which just adds another element to your styling. Super buff piece, and that is that for item number eins. Item number zwei, numero dos, numero deux. We've got a shirt which, if you guys have seen my, was it my last dance where I pick up? It could have been my last one or the one previous to that. It was shirts from their fall winter. 17 collection in my opinion some of the best shirts ever made just because they look insanely beautiful they feel incredible and they are cut in such an interesting manner not your typical shirt and here we have another colorway to add to the collection now i took a fat l on the tag it said medium and i don't I, I, man i've been there three times now, four times. I know that sometimes the tags are a bit off, but for some reason, I still fall for the shit where the tag said medium, I'll get home, I check the label on the garment itself and it's a large. It's super oversized. It's a very big piece anyway. And the fact that it's a size large just make it super oversized. Like my two other shirts in this same design but different colorways wear a size small and extra small. So that should kind of give you an idea. I picked this up because the color looked very intriguing to me. I love the sort of pop of the yellow, the leopard print, the purple, all round amazing. Now to my understanding, although I saw one of these floating on gray old before, I think that was actually acquired in the previous sample sale. This might actually be a sample because I looked through the show pictures from the runway, didn't come across this colorway, didn't come across this piece at all, and yet it's still there. So beautiful, beautiful piece, size large, super oversized, flowy as hell, kimono-like construction, just buff, and the color, come on, come on. Ooh -wee. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner with this one, mate. Winner, winner, chicken Dinner. Moving on to the third shirt. This was actually from their spring summer 18 collection So the majority of this sample sale is obviously done by season and the season that it was at currently was spring summer 18 And I think this shirt if I recall properly this shirt is from that season once again Incredible. I picked this up in a size large, but as you can see from the on body, it doesn't look too bad. Like, I'd recommend is one of those designers that you really need to try on the pieces because sometimes you're an extra small or a small, sometimes a large doesn't look too bad at all. White shirt plus pattern, a plus sign basically, almost in this sort of painted like effect. And then you've got a scarf with two of these ends just floating about that you can attach and that you can create a pussy bow if you wanted to super neat just a little styling little touch that they've added to basically no material information great very lightweight but still has somewhat of a substance to it and it's definitely slightly textured almost like this crepe like material that can be fine that can be found often with 
silk and various materials of that nature there's also a pocket a concealed pocket on the left chesticle area very long in the sleeves obviously this is a size large so that's to be expected and then we're moving on to the final shirt from this pickup and man it's a thing of beauty. This one is from Andromeda Mista. This was part of their Spring Summer 18 collection, as I said previously. And boy, 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 boy. Now, to my understanding, this came in three colorways. You had black, you had white, you had pink. If there was any more, then so be it. But yeah, there's only three that I saw on the runway, and there was only two that I saw at that place. A black one and a pink one. As much as I love the black one, I just think this pink one it's just beautiful boys the color is just absolutely insane plus i mean you get black shirts all the time you don't get this incredible muted pink very often especially for shirts now this guy however and dominamista size small fits huge very long in the body obviously you can tuck it in when wearing it with some nice trousers now my favorite bit of this shirt besides the material itself which as you can see features a lot of embroidered work looks incredible that it does is the sleeve detailing now something that i'm absolutely obsessed with has been 18th century menswear garments a lot of the shirts were super flowy super huge especially around the sleeves around the shoulders there were some extra seams which allowed for this billowing billowing ballooning effect which I've been obsessed with it ever since ever since uh, ever since being a kid basically. And another thing that I loved in those shirts is the cuff detailing which were often very big. They might have had frills and looking at the shirts that's what it reminds me. The cuff is huge. Absolutely love this. You've got two side slits as well which aids the tucking in of the shirt. You can pretty much just tuck in the front half and then the back half can be left out. I think this piece is so so sick. Size small, love the detailing, the material is incredible, the embroidered work is amazing. I think this piece originally retailed for like 1.3k euros or 1.2k euros and we were able to get it for a fairly decent price. I think it was like 400 quid, no 400 yeah, quid, no a bit more than that but incredible. Sometimes prices are still a bit, bit on the expensive side you know just because it's a sample sale. Granted you do come across some steals, sometimes, oh my god this is a pain for hangers, sometimes it can run you a pretty Penny. Going back to Hyder Ackerman, we've come to the final two pieces for the tops. This was actually a jumper that I, or it's a sweatshirt, that I saw before we even got to the sample set. I was like, cool, I want to get this set if it is available. Because ever since I saw it on the runway, I fell in love with it. It came in retailers. The price was not only extortionate, but this colorway actually sold out in stores, which is incredible. And it is this lovely, just absolutely lovely, lavender sweatshirt. It's not the Perth sweatshirt as far as my understanding goes with regards to the cut for Hyder Ackerman pieces, but this is actually a size medium. It's got this amazing collar detailing. The cut is just beautiful. I mean, as you can expect from most Hyder Ackerman pieces, they are fairly boxy, not necessarily cropped in the body, but um, the waistband is fairly tight. So what it does, it, it creates a balloon effect, basically. It actually looks really cool though. Most sweatshirts where the waistband is tight and it creates this ball effect basically around you doesn't look that good. The Hyder Ackermans one, in my opinion, look incredible. The sleeves, raglan cut, really nice detailing once again at the cuff and the cuff band is fairly tight as well. You've got this thing in the back like a slit just featuring on the top half of the jumper. It's a design detail. It doesn't really do much function wise but it looks cool. That is it. There isn't much else to say for this piece, really. Size medium. Looks incredible. And then last, but certainly not the least, and boy, I'm absolutely ecstatic to add this piece to my collection. This piece I'm definitely keeping, and that is this blazer from their Fall Winter 17 collection. I don't know the name but it looks incredible. It's got bleached detailing all over this amazing yellow fabric collar basically the the collar itself has an excess of fabric basically that can definitely be played around with it's super lightweight there isn't that much structure in this jacket which i absolutely love because it means it can be worn formally but also informally like i can see myself and i wore this when i went out for a birthday party but if i was to go out for a nice little dinner with either a t-shirt or shirt underneath or without anything underneath you can still do that and that's another thing that i love about this piece yes it's a blazer but it can act as a shirt 
and you can wear nothing underneath and it looks like a kimono shirt basically with a button detailing two pockets at the side I'm not gonna open them just because I'm not gonna be using those pockets anyway and there's no point adding further bulk to the piece I think this collection was one of my favorites from Haider Ackerman the way he explored colors and the way he explored materials and the way that they come together he's a master mate he's the he's he's just so good sizing interestingly enough and once again this is what I mean by Haider Ackerman you can be all over the place normally blazers I take them in a size 48 I went with a size 50 in the sleeves it did fit kind of snug ish but then I flipped the garment inside out and had a look at the sleeve and I saw that there was some material there if I was to kind of let it out a tiny bit so I can do that with my tailor so that is fine this is an amazing piece man one that I hope to hold in my wardrobe for a very long time one that I hope to bust out every once in a while it's not gonna be an everyday piece and I know that but when I do wear it it's gonna be a thing you know so that is the final top and then let me just grab stuff from the bag okay we've come to the final bit of the video which are going to be trousers bottoms trouser numero uno we've only got three trouser numero uno speechless like when i saw these oof, just so good they're a size small which is my usual andy size and they fit incredibly in the waist however they fit so tight well not so tight but they fit really tight and you can see this on the on body they fit really tight around the thigh now i don't exactly have the biggest of thighs but you know i'm a bit of an athlete so i do have some some uh, some legs on me for that reason these are ones that i actually think i'm gonna have to let go and i'm gutted because just look at that man the colors are absolutely insane amazing sort of velvet like material the way that the black and the red oof, just comes together and you've got a flare at the bottom and they're super long i mean if i was to keep them i'd definitely have to get them tailored just to shorten them up just because these are very very long if you're like six foot and above they're perfect for you if like me you're five foot eight and below then you're gonna have to get them tailored however because the flare starts up quite early even if you get them tailored you will still have this flared effect love this particular pair of trousers man i think the colors are insane they remind me of the Calvin Klein leather trousers that I have the ones that are red and black these are a bit darker a bit more black which is why I actually went for these in my head I was thinking I'm not gonna bust out the red leather Calvin's all the time so this would be a nice little pair of trousers that I can throw on on a more regular basis unfortunately though the cut was not in my favor but still absolutely insane so this will 95% sure that I'm gonna be selling this so if any of you guys are interested check in the description box down below if the item is still there it means that it's available. If not, it means that it's sold or that I changed my mind. Last two pieces are actually sweatpants and they're both from Hyder Ackerman. And let me show you guys this color first just because I've shown you guys a sweatshirt. As I said, before even going to the sample sale, I saw this whole set and I was like, I want this, right? So it's the lavender number and you've got the matching sweatpants to go with the jumper. Now, to my surprise, or I only clocked this a bit later on during the day, they actually have a silk paneling here, which was not present in the men's runway trousers or the men's runway sweatpants. The sweatpants from the men's collection didn't have this silk panel and also something that I noticed is the biker detailing that can be found is not present in this which leads me to believe this is actually a woman's pair or this is going to be a sample piece. This one in particular and the one that I'm showing on body is a size large. A large will fit anywhere between a 32 and a 34. If you're bigger than that I would go for an XL in this particular pair the one with the silk at the bottom i mean this has a drawstring waistband so if you're smaller in size like me you can definitely use that to adjust it man this is so sick i just don't know because of this of this little paneling and the fact that they don't have the biker detailing that's very peculiar but because i picked up the blood orange sweatpants and these are definitely the men's version as you can see no silk paneling at the bottom and if i turn it around you can see See this guy right here, the, the biker detailing. This is 100% keep. This, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll figure it out. Moving on to the last piece in more details. Blood orange, love the color, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first came across it online, it wasn't that I wasn't too keen on it. It was just like, okay, cool, there's another pair of orange sweatpants. Then I saw it in real life at the sample sale and I was like, man, that color is incredible. And it really gives you so many opportunities for styling, which I absolutely love, which by the way, I completely forgot. Both for the sweatpants, yes, I've been wearing them with boots. That is low key how Hyder Ackerman presents his sweatpants. And I think these are the only, or these are some of the sweatpants you can wear with boots and it looks 
insane, in my opinion. Very pirate-esque. If any of you are going to moan about that, why are you mixing sweatpants with beats? Then go do one and enjoy this video. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you. Going back to the video. Amazing piece. This is actually a size small, which is my size and highly recommend when it comes to their bottoms, their sweatpants especially. I actually have the... OG sweatpants for winter 14 or whatever like the first ever sweatpants basically the ones that Kanye wore in, and made popular He wore them in a sort of greenish olive color. They came in two colorways You've got the grays and you've got the greenish olive and this is basically a revamp of that style just in two different colors Lavender and burnt orange burnt orange added to my collection I'm excited to be wearing these and to be styling them because I think they are absolutely Incroyable. And that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, if you guys wish to acquire any of the pieces, check the description box down below. If they're available, they'll be there. If not, it's not there. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V. I don't even know what I just did with my hand there. I kind of just... Yeah, that is that from me. Have... Is there anything else I need to say? No, that is it, right? Okay, this is a tiny little thing that I'm adding at the end of this video since we're on the topic of selling. I bought two shirts from Capital right here. I'm just absolutely gutted that they don't fit me. Purple one is a size two. Yellow is a size three. If you guys are interested, drop me a message on the IG. I will leave the price and everything in the description box down below. If, as I said, if it's available, it'll be there. If it's sold, then it'll be gone. If you have them in a size four and are willing to trade in either colors, then let me know because I'd very much like to add these to my collection. I think they're so, so sick. It's just a shame that they fit insanely small. Size two, I kind of knew it wasn't gonna fit. I was being hopeful. Size three, I was like, come on. And to be fair, it shuts, it's cool, but I feel like I'd be a lot more comfortable in a size four. Capital from this season, the bandana patchwork shirts, jackets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let me know. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.